Hey, 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 y'all. Happy Friday. This is your daily love reading for the collective that are single in Twin Flame Connections trying to figure out how to get out or in karmic situations trying to figure out how to get out, okay? So this is definitely for um, a singles type of environment or a singles type of collective, should I say. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started because I am pressed for time as usual. Time is an illusion. Time is an illusion. I really have that feeling, though, like that time is an illusion. So that's why I don't be like on time for nothing <laughs> because I feel like it's an illusion. Like, I'm going to get there when I get there. I'm going to get done when it gets done, right? So anyway, hope y'all are having a beautiful Friday. Hope you had a beautiful week. Let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what's going on for the collective on this love journey what's going on for the collective when it comes to getting out of a karmic situation getting out of a twin flame situation is any new love coming in what's going on spirit what can you tell us what's going on today Ooh, damn tower something is falling apart or something is shocking right queen of pentacles in reverse virgo cap taurus five of swords someone doesn't want to be conflicted anymore Someone is no longer conflicted, excuse me. Six of Cups, Reverse, King of Cups, Three of Swords. Ooh. Somebody is leaving somebody ass. For real. Six of Cups, Reverse. Somebody is letting go of something or someone from their past. Their feelings have changed about them. I feel like everything has changed about this connection. With the Three of Swords here, it's a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. Five of Wands is like, I'm no longer conflicted about what the fuck I'm going to do. I am leaving. Two of Cups, reverse, Three of Cups, reverse. You're dealing with somebody who's got, had you in a third party situation. Whether you were the one they were cheating with or you're the one that was getting cheated on. You were part of a third party situation. So you're like, I'm done with this. I feel like with the Tower moment, that's not about a shock. That's about something that's falling apart. It's something that wasn't built correctly. Queen of Pentacles, um, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Cap, Taurus energy strong here. Five of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles here. So, you know, Earth energy is really strong today. Um, so it's a lot about stability. It's a lot about the fact that you don't get that stability. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some clarity on these cards, y'all. Let's get some clarity on the table. All right, Spirit, please clarify the tower energy. What is this tower energy? What is falling apart, Spirit? Magician reverse. Aries energy, I'm getting. Nine of swords. Somebody has a lot of regrets about this. Somebody was really sneaky. Seven of wands, they giving up, y'all. Woo, somebody going in that tower. They ain't fighting for this shit no more. They ain't fighting for this shit no more. Queen of pentacles in reverse again. Virgo cap Taurus, okay. And then we have the ten of coins in reverse. Let me tell you something. This situation wasn't bringing any type of stability. It was never going to go too far. They could never seem to achieve that Ten of Pentacles with you. So I feel like, you know, you're giving up. You're throwing in the towel. Like, this is not what I wanted. I can't nurture this situation no more. Like, you're pulling back. You know, like, I feel like also that you've realized this person can't give you what you're looking for. You know, Nine of Swords is very regretful. I feel like some of you can't even sleep at night because of this situation. It just literally drives you crazy. With the Magician Reverse, it's, it's a lot of sneaky shit going on. You know, a lot of shit going on behind closed doors that you don't know about. And I feel like more than anything, this isn't, you know, more than that, this is about the fact that this is not how you wanted this to turn out. This is not how you were hoping this would manifest. But it did. So if we clarify this Queen of Pentacles Reverse energy. Seven of Swords. Ooh, truth coming out. Wait a minute. Four of Wands. Page of Cups. Six of, I'm sorry, eight of coins reverse. Yeah, somebody don't want to work on this somewhere. Their feelings have changed. Page of wands and the knight of wands. Ooh. First of all, with the pages here, let's just talk about that. The page of wands and the page of um, cups. I feel like someone is ready for something new. They don't want to work on this anymore. They're tired of that, you know, in and out energy. They're tired of that. Like their feelings are changing. And I feel like they had an epiphany moment. Which is actually cause for a sort of like a celebration though. Because the four of wands is up right here. Like I feel like this person is celebrating the fact that they finally came to a realization that they have to leave something behind. 
because there's no stability here. There's no kind of security. Nothing is nothing is signed, sealed, delivered. You know what I'm saying? It's not. And this person's just like, they're celebrating this now because they've had this epiphany moment, like finally come to realization. I don't want this no more. I don't want to work on this no more. I feel like it took them a really long time to really see their worth, you know? Let's very clarify this Five of Swords reverse. What is this Five of Swords reverse? The Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody's got something they want to communicate. Let's very clarify. Two of Coins. A lot of twos here. The Devil in reverse. Ooh, I told you, somebody don't want to come, don't want to be conflicted no more. Ace of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords reverse. Somebody does not want to be in any type of conflict anymore without this situation. They would rather be in peace and harmony, and they're about to communicate this. I feel like someone is communicating the fact that they're detaching from something that has been unhealthy, this connection, because they want love. They want a partnership. They want a balanced union, okay? It's like this connection is toxic, and this toxic attachment is holding them back from new beginnings, okay? I feel like this is definitely a situation where... This is what they have to tell this person, but I feel like, I feel like with the Ace of Swords reverse, how can I put this? This was like, it's almost as if the beginning of the new beginning is delayed, but the Ace of Swords is like, I don't even know how to say this. This person. doesn't know everything i feel like they like they don't know everything about you they don't know everything about their person i just kind of feel like they don't want to go they don't want to do this anymore i'm just i really feel like they don't want to do this anymore so to clarify this knight of pentacles reversed energy with the knight of cups reverse yeah they don't know how to say it though nine of cups seven of coins reverse Seven of Pentacles, same difference. Nine of Wands. And then King of Swords reverse. Yeah. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. This person, well, Virgo, Cap, Taurus too. But this person, like this person's realizing it's taking way too long for this shit to happen. Like it's taking too long. Like when are we going to be together? You're not even focused on me. I feel like this person is like, where is your head focused at? Because it's not me. You know, and I feel like they're tired of going through this. It's the same thing over and over again. Always the same thing. They feel like, you know, you're selfish and they feel like, you know, you only care about yourself and how you feel or you think that about your person. But you're like, they, like you're, you're, they're trying to get the, the words together to express that. They don't know how to put it in the words that their feelings have changed. They don't want you no more. Spirit, clarify this five of pentacles energy. Spirit, please clarify this five of pentacles energy. The five of wands reverse. The five of swords. All in fives. Five of pentacles, five of wands, five of swords. Five, five, five. That's a message for somebody. The empress, Libra, Taurus energy. And it is a Friday, right? And then we have the tower reversed and the hermit, Virgo energy. Bottom of the deck is four swords. Yeah. I kind of get this feeling that this person, it's a challenge for them. It's a challenge for them because it's like they haven't recovered from the last time. So I feel like you know they think that you know they're looking at you as being selfish and only caring about your feelings and what you want and not you know caring about theirs this person is no longer conflicted though you know and i feel like with the five of swords twice there was a lot of arguments a lot of competition a lot of you know this person throwing in the towel though you know what i'm saying like they're this empress energy makes me feel like they're ready to grow they're ready to evolve you know and they you know they realize that this connection though it may be strong was built wrong so it needs to be built the right way and they're going to be alone they're going to pull some time away from people i feel like this is just something that they don't necessarily share like they, they're tired of being kept in the dark about their person they're tired of not knowing what's going on with their person so a big part of this energy is just that they're tired of the lies like they want the truth about your feelings they want the truth about how this person feels tired of the hot the coming in hot they're tired. Like this person's like feelings are changing about this other person. Let's see. Spirit, what is destined to happen? For the collective in love. Toxic influence. 
setting free. Somebody is setting themselves free from a toxic situation. Enemy and anxiety. Yeah, I definitely feel like this person is starting to look at their other person as the enemy. Like, you're a toxic influence. You're not good for me. I have to set myself free. I have anxiety. Like, and I feel like that is giving them anxiety to have this discussion. To tell this person, I don't want to do this with you no more. Spirit, what is destined to happen with the Queen of Pentacles reverse? What is destined to happen with the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Authenticity. Shattered. And Phoenix rising. Ooh. Someone is, this Queen of Wands is like, fuck this. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles is like, fuck this, you broke my heart. You know, I'm looking for authenticity. They feel like you're not authentic. They feel like this person's not authentic with them. And they have evolved. They have evolved, Phoenix rising. Like, they've evolved into this beautiful being who knows who they are. And they're like, no, I don't want this no more. Spirit, what is best thing to happen with this five of swords? Vengeful. Inner growth. And inner demon. See, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like this person is like, you know what? Let me leave before I... Before I venge... Before I become vengeful towards this person. Because it's like... It's a lot of inner demons here and they've grown so much. So it's like they rather leave before they do all of that. Because they, they, this person has a lot to say to this other person. A lot. Like, they're, they, they, they're fighting it. They're fighting it. That's why the Ace of Swords is reversed. They're fighting it. They want to tell this person everything that they feel. But they're fighting it. Imprisonment. Spirit. What's destined to happen with this Knight of Pentacles reverse? Eagle death. Ooh. Somebody no longer wants to control this situation. Burnt out. They are burnt out. Tired of being in prison. Tired of being confined to this situation. Tired of going crazy about it in their head. Spirit, what's destined to happen with this Five of Pentacles? Frustrated. Mm. Revelation. Mm. Yeah, yeah, somebody had a revelation. Like, I ain't doing this no more. Epiphany, come on through with this spirit. Higher self, come on through with this spirit. Attachments. This person is detaching. What did I tell you? We had that devil card over here. Where was that devil card at? Right here. This person is detaching because they're like, you know what? I'm evolving. I'm evolving and you don't tell me how you feel. You don't open up. You're selfish. It's only about you. And they're frustrated by this. They had this revelation and they had an epiphany and higher self. Look at that. Revelation. Epiphany. And higher self. Come on now. Come on now. Let's see what chakras need to be addressed for your healing when it comes to this connection that seems as though it's been very one-sided. What are the chakras that need to be addressed for healing? Heart chakra growth. See, look at that. You've grown. You are not who you were when you got into this connection at all. And understand that and grasp that. You're, you, the way that you feel about love has changed. You've grown. Open up that heart center. And then we have recovery. Come on. Third eye energy, right? This is all about recovering from this situation. Take some time out to yourself and recover. Don't try to jump or hop into something else really quickly. And another heart energy. Come on, it fits it, right? Grief. This person has probably caused you a lot of grief. And that's why you got all this shit built up inside of you. And you just want to get it out and explode on them. But you don't want to be vengeful, so work on that heart chakra. Deal with your grief. Deal with the losses you've taken. And another third eye. Come on, damn it. Faith. Have faith that whatever doesn't work out for you ain't meant for you. Maybe it'll be meant for you in the future, but it ain't meant for you now. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't meant for you. Trust that the universe, your angels, your ancestors, your guides are always, always watching your back and always have your best interests at heart. So if something doesn't work out, it ain't just about you. And acceptance. Look at that root chakra energy. Accept it for what it is. Accept yourself and another. The fact that we got heart, third eye, heart, third eye, root, and heart says that this situation has a lot to do with how you see things. It has a lot to do with your perception. It has a lot to do with the growth that you've encountered with when it comes to love. And 
how you feel about yourself, self-worth. You are not a victim. You are not a victim, okay? Let's get some energy cards out here and wrap up this reading. Spirit, give us some energy on this love reading today. What do we need? Healer of the ages. You're a healer. You're a healer. This is for someone who's a healer. You are a healer. You are probably a seer. You're probably a tarot reader. You're a healer. Goddess of the moon. Come on through with the spirit. You are a healer. 51, 52. Look at that in order. You are a healer. You are the goddess. You are the goddess of cycles and changes. You are the goddess of this. Like, this is what you do. You change things. You bring in change. Anxiety in reverse. Let it go. Told you. What we have over here? Anxiety. This person gives you too much anxiety. And spirit is telling you it's time. It's time. No more anxiety. No more fears. No more wondering what's going to happen with this situation. Let that ego die. Stop trying to control it and let it go. Stop trying to control it and let it go. And then we have angel of strength in reverse. I know it's hard. Oh, I know it's hard. It's hard, but you got to let go. And then we have strategy in reverse. And the bottom of the deck is yin and yang. Balance. It's all about balance. See, the, the, the thing that I'm seeing here, and that's number 22, right? 22. Okay? That's a master number. Um, just know that strategy is not going to work. This person's strategy hasn't worked. You have, have, you've had your epiphany moment. You've realized that this connection doesn't give you what you give it. So you pull back, pulling back your love, pulling back your emotions, pulling back your energy. And you have that epiphany moment where you realize I have to do this for me. And the universe is removing it from you. No more anxiety, no more having to fear what is going to happen. Let the ego die. A part of the reason that this connection is ending is because you need to let go of the ego. Let go of trying to control the outcome of every situation. You can't. Okay, and I know it's hard and you need some strength right now, but it's in you. It's definitely in you and you got it. You got it. Mm, 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 mm. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's love reading for the collective. <laughs> if you got, if this has resonated with you, you already know, drop that comment down below. If it's resonated, thumbs up. If it hasn't, thumbs down. It's all love. Don't forget, if you want to purchase a reading, website www.alchemygoddess.love. <laughs> um, A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S dot L-O-V-E. -E. You can purchase an appointment. You can purchase some Zodiac merchandise. I got caps. I got hoodies, I got bathing suits, bikinis, I got pillows with my tarot deck on them. So check out my website and purchase, purchase, purchase. And don't forget to share with your friends and share with your family. And I'll check you guys on Monday. As always, y'all already know what it is. Peace. <laughs>